Hi, I'm Mark Yaxley, General Manager for Strategic Wealth Preservation. Welcome to Inside the Vault. Today we're talking about traveling with precious metals. It's something that our clients ask us about all the time. How do I get my precious metals into another country? And what should I expect at the airport? There's lots to talk about, so let's get after it. The first thing the clients want to know is, is it legal to carry precious metals into a foreign country? Simple answer is yes. It's completely legal to carry precious metals with you into a foreign country. Precious metals are considered personal property. It's just like owning a nice watch or an expensive piece of jewelry. You're allowed to carry those things with you across borders. Most often our clients travel by airplane, so they want to know what's going to happen when they carry their precious metals with them through the airport. It's important to remember that when you go through the airport, you're not actually going through customs on the way out of the country. The only checkpoint is going to be security. So I'm going to give you some tips on what to expect and how to prepare yourself for going through security. The most important thing is to be prepared for what's going to happen. If you're prepared and you've thought out what to expect before you get through security, it's going to be a lot less stressful. And that's really the most important thing. So when you get to security and you put your bag on the x-ray machine and you have precious metals in your carry on baggage. The precious metals that you're carrying are going to come up as a very dense material. So the security guards are probably going to ask you to go into a secondary search or take a look at your bag. Expecting that is the most important thing. Take charge of the conversation. You don't have anything to hide. Again, remember carrying precious metals is completely legal. I recommend that you ask them to take you into a private room. So they're going to take you into the room. They're going to open your bag. There's probably going to be two people with you. They're going to ask you what you're carrying. You can tell them, I've got some gold coins, I've got some silver bars, and they're going to want to see it. Let them take it out. They might count it. And to be honest, it's probably the most interesting thing that they're going to see all day. So you'd be surprised that they're actually going to be quite friendly and quite professional about the whole thing, at least from my experience, they have been. The last thing you want to do is panic or get stressed. When you start panicking or getting stressed, their panic levels and stress levels are going to increase as well. And that's when the conversation gets a little bit uncomfortable. So just knowing what's coming is the most important thing. Because you can expect to be stopped at security, you should probably give yourself an extra 15 or 20 minutes lead time uh, for your transit through the airport. The next thing you might be wondering is, do I have to declare the precious metals when I arrive in the foreign country? My recommendation is you declare the precious metals if the value of the precious metals is higher than the declaration amount on the customs document. It's much worse not to declare those precious metals than it is to declare them. Again, remember, carrying precious metals is completely legal. Lying to a customs officer is not legal. If you lie to a customs agent and then they discover that you're carrying precious metals with a value higher than the threshold, you run the risk of having your precious metals seized or paying a fine or possibly being imprisoned. So I highly recommend that you do declare the precious metals. What they're going to want to know is why are you carrying the precious metals into that country and how much are they worth? You may be asked to fill out a secondary document to answer these questions, but again, they're going to treat you professionally and then send you on your way. I think that there's a common misconception that it's illegal to carry precious metals into a foreign country because of the declaration value that's stated on customs documents. For example, when entering the United States, there's a decla declaration limit of 10,000 USD. That doesn't mean that you're not allowed to carry more than $10,000 worth of cash or precious metals. It only means that you have to declare it. So I highly recommend if you are carrying more than the declaration amount that you declare it when you get to customs. People often ask me which value they should use when declaring their precious metals. For example, do they take the face value of the coin or the market value of the gold content of the coin? I think it's a really important question. Personally, I recommend that they use the market value of the gold content. You don't want to get into a discussion with a customs agent whether or not we should be using the face value of a gold eagle, for example, $50 for this gold eagle, or the market value of gold, say, $1,300 or $1,400 for this coin. It's a much safer bet and will save yourself some stress and some time by simply declaring the higher of the two values. 
finally is the subject of having to pay tariffs or VATs when entering the country. Now, of course, this varies from jurisdiction to jurisdiction, so it's really important that you inform yourself prior to arriving so that you're not surprised by a tariff or a VAT being levied against you when you arrive. Generally speaking, gold does not carry tariffs or VATs in Europe, most countries in Europe, or the United States or Canada. Silver generally does carry a VAT, but again, please inform yourselves prior to arriving in the country. You don't want to be levied with an 18 or 22% tariff or VAT when you get there. It's a bad way to start a holiday. What I've told you today is based on my personal experiences of traveling with precious metals through Canada, the United States, Europe, and the Cayman Islands. But things can be different in the country that you're entering. I hope that I've answered your questions about traveling with precious metals. If you have any further questions or you have any ideas for a future episode, email us at info at swpcayman.com or tweet me directly. I'd be happy to hear what you have to say. I'm Mark Yaxley. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Inside the Vault. See you next time.